All right, guys, so we're gonna move the drain for this pan. We got the pan set in position and then marked out where this cutout is gonna be. And there's gonna be a little bit of a dead space here under that. So I might take a little piece of this and try to put a little blocking in there to get that um, for support. But yeah, all we're gonna do is take our jigsaw head, get this cut out, and we'll plop the pan back down, move the pipe over with two bends, and that'll do it. Let's go. Do you wanna build a snowman? All right, so now from here, what we'd wanna do is get this pipe dead center on this hole. And it looks like we're gonna be a little um, far off. These are just two bends that I had. Um, I was planning on running out and getting anything I needed. So what I'll end up doing is getting two street fittings and the street will actually sit in a little bit more. And that should hopefully put us right where we need to be. So. We'll go get that, clean up, grab everything we need. I checked this floor, it is level in both directions, which is perfect. So all we're gonna have to do is roll a primer over all this for the strata mat, and we should be good to go. All right, so you can see here, this was a little more tricky than expected. Had to come in here with the inside pipe cutter. And we took that old P-trap out. That is nasty. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a whole new P-trap in. It's just um, just much easier to get it into position. Tried the double bend and it, just, it was sitting too high off the floor. But yeah, we'll be able to slip this in right here and we'll connect it to the old pipe with a coupling and an extension. Stay tuned. All right, so as you can see here, we now have the pipe moved to where it's supposed to be. It's just dry fit right now, but we got this that we're gonna glue together and get connected on to that old pipe in there. I got the hole cut perfect with that little block put in. It's probably overkill, but I'd rather overkill it than underkill it. And now all we really need to do is um, get some green board up on here, get this um, mudded down, curb, mud the curb down, get ready for the waterproofing fabric that we're gonna have to put everywhere. We're gonna fix all of this drywall. We're gonna get all of this um, patched in and then we're gonna build our bench out of, oh, sorry, I took it outside, two inch foam. And we'll wrap everything in plastic. This um, <clears throat> linoleum glue is stuck like Chuck. We could grind it off, but I think what we're in, I'm gonna end up doing is rolling a, a priming bond over the whole floor. I trust that to hold the bond, um, considering how well this stuff is stuck. And that'll just give it a surface that the strata mat can bond to. Everything seems level. Um, we were originally going to level over in this corner. I think I can just float that instead. And that should be it. So let's get rocking and rolling on this pan. Oh, and we gotta cut the two pipes, remove this. And we're gonna swap that kit tomorrow and get the cap on the old P-trap there running into this stack. Yeah, things are going great. Gotta love it. All right, well, I'll do another video mudding this down. You know what, maybe I'll just, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the mud down on the pen um, separately just because I want uh, people to see how uh, the process goes. But let's just call this video the prep phase on getting your pan ready for set. All right, we'll see you later. All right, here is where we're at currently. So 
we got the green board patched in and what we're gonna do with this whole shower area, we're waiting on the plumbing kit to come tomorrow so I can swap out that kit. So I'll cut that drywall out, I'll put it back up because we're going over this whole thing with the, the uh, RSS waterproofing fabric, which is right here on the pan. So the pan went in perfectly. We got the hole moved. I'm gonna connect the new P-trap uh, tomorrow. We got the bench roughly built. I'm gonna bring that up two inches to meet the edge of the windowsill. I just think that'll be a nice clean look to have it running like that. And um, I pre-cut the strata mat for the floor. So basically, tomorrow, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna cut the old plumbing out, we're gonna install the new plumbing for the shower, connect the plumbing for the shower drain, we're gonna put the uh, bonding flange on there, and then we're gonna mud down the pan, we're gonna mud down the curb, mud the waterproofing fabric over, maybe we'll have time to fabric the entire shower and put the bench together. And then we need to mud down the strata mat. That's a lot of work for one day, especially when I'm by myself. So we'll see if we get it done. But what I'll mainly try to do is get the shower pan and plumbing completely done. So stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll keep everybody updated on this one. But RSS, Revolutionary Shower Systems, my favorite part, made in the USA. Check them out. We'll see you later.